Year 11. Can you see me? No. Of course you can't see me. Don't be silly. Um, it's very difficult, isn't it, to form a relationship with someone who you cannot see. Whereas now, you can see me. You can see me in the flesh and you can decide, yes, pretty decent kind of guy, happy to speak to that person, or no, wouldn't be seen dead with him. And that's like the incarnation. Can you see God? You cannot physically see God. And so God takes on human form. He takes on flesh, if you like, so that we can see him. Why does he do that? Because he loves us. He wants to come close to us. He wants us to be able to see him so that we can relate to him. He wants to be close to us. He doesn't want to be a distant God. So the incarnation is really important. Incarnation, like chili con carne. Con carne means meat. God in meat, God in flesh. And who is God in flesh? That is Jesus. Here's one I prepared earlier. Not really. But you see over here the image of Jesus. God comes to us in human form, incarnate, so that we can get close to him, he can get close to us, and that we can form a bond, we can form a relationship with him. Now, why does he do this? He does this because he loves us and he gives us himself, he gives us his love, he gives himself like this in love. That is known as grace. Grace means free and we may be blinded by his grace just like Stormzy because he's given himself freely to us. He's given his love to us. He's given his very life um, for us and that is grace. What does 50% plus 50% equal 100%? Now, let's take a step further. 100% plus 100% equals JC, Jesus Christ. Don't worry, I'm not giving up the day job. I'm not becoming a maths teacher. I'm useless at maths. But... We believe Jesus was 100% human and 100% divine or 100% God. Remember, his father is God. He's a miracle baby, so he's God. But his mother is human, Mary, and so he's also fully human. He felt hunger. He felt pain. He was scared of being crucified. He wept when his friend died. He showed all the human emotions that you and I will show. And so he experienced what we felt as human beings. It's another beauty of the incarnation, isn't it? That God really knows what it is like to be human. And so we can relate to him better. We can pray to him better. And yet, on the other hand, he's also God. God is his father. Jesus rose from the dead. No other individual was able to do that. He worked miracles. He taught, he taught uh, teachings that we still listen to and follow 2,000 years down the line today. But there is even more evidence to show us that Jesus was fully divine. Let's have a look at this. Here is our evidence from Luke's Gospel. It's the Annunciation. That means when the angel Gabriel came to see Mary to tell her she was to have the Son of God. Let's watch this. We were going to watch it, but I just can't get the sound system to work, so I won't be a media teacher either. Look, there's Gabriel, there's Mary. Gabriel comes to tell Mary that she's to have the Son of God. So there's one piece of evidence, because normally we don't get an angel to tell us when we're going to be born. My mother certainly wasn't told that. Um, Mary's confused because she's a virgin, and she thinks, how can this be? Well, there is evidence against from Luke's Gospel to show that Jesus was of God. Mary did not conceive Jesus in the normal way. She didn't have a husband, so the father must have been God. Mary was the mother. And then the angel Gabriel says to Mary that, I've forgotten what he said. Gabriel then tells her, that the son that she will bear, Jesus, will be the son of the Most High. Who is the Most High but God himself? And so that shows that Jesus, for Christians, is the son of God. So he's fully divine and he's fully human, and that is the incarnation.
There will be more on the incarnation. I need to mug up a little bit and you might be thinking you don't need to mug up a bit because the only mug around here is you. You wouldn't be the only one thinking that. Anyway, I'll read up a little bit more and I'll do the next clip. Um, I don't know, maybe. I'll read up a little bit more on it and then I'll do another clip maybe in a week or so.